Donald Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, making his second appearance tomorrow before a New York grand jury. He's the key witness in a case investigating a hush money payment to adult film star, film star Stormy Daniels. That payment made just days before the 2016 election. Prosecutors handling the case are signaling that a criminal indictment for Trump could be coming soon. The former president slamming this case in a, neat, a fundraising email today, saying prosecutors are trying to, quote, destroy our MAGA movement. And his attorney is doing a media blitz, now claiming that Trump himself is the victim in this case. President Trump has denied from day one having an affair with this woman. What he is is an extortion victim. She came out right before the campaign and said, or the election and said, unless you pay me, I'm going to make a, a public story about something that he says is completely untrue. Out front now, the former Trump White House lawyer, Ty Cobb. And Ty, we've talked so much about all of the, uh, the legal troubles, the, the possible indictments that uh, the former president may be facing. But as you see Trump and his lawyer there, Joe Tacopina, ramping up their public attacks on this specific case, where do you think we are? Do you think an indictment is imminent for Donald Trump here? I do think an indictment is imminent uh, based on the recent reporting and the uh, grand jury activity. Uh, I'm not sure this is the best case to lead with. I'm not sure it'll have that great an impact on him. But yes, I do. Uh, I do uh, hear the president and Joe uh, talking about the president as the alleged victim here. And that's that's Trump at his best. Uh, you know, obviously, he didn't testify before the grand jury. If indicted, uh, he will have to appear in court. But uh, would you do you think that was the right thing to do for him not to appear before this grand jury? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, any first year law student, I think your criminal practice would would uh, advise the president not to show up in front of a grand jury, particularly in a case where the proof problems that the prosecution has, you know, they're not overwhelming, but there there are problems in terms of how this case will be presented to a jury. So just, just to be clear, none of this is deterring Trump from running for re-election. And in fact, if anything, Ty, it seems to be encouraging him, right? I mean, you know, if he gets back in office, he would be immune to anything uh, if any of these indictments, you know, end up with uh, convictions. Here's what he said in Iowa last night. We stand up to the crooked Democrat prosecutors all over the country. If I fly over a state that happens to be Democrat, let's call them into a grand jury. They have never, nobody's ever weaponized like this group of people. They're maniacs. All right, you know him well. You know how he handles uh, these sorts of, you know, situations. Um, do you think that there's anything that would stop him from running legally? And I guess also separate from that, Ty, does this actually give him oxygen? So those, those are good questions. I will say that that, that tape cut uh, is is sort of right out of the uh, DSM-4 on narcissism. Um, I, I, I'm not, and we'll hear a lot of that if he, if he is charged. I don't believe that this case or even the Georgia case, however that turns out, whether charges are brought, whether they include him, uh, will deter him um, from his run. And, I, and I'm not sure either would have a lot of impact as the, as the consequences, certainly of the New York case, um, while, while a little bit hard to estimate, uh, don't appear to be very serious. And I think it's highly unlikely, you know, he could go to jail uh, in connection with the contemplated charges in New York. Um, I do think that when the federal government comes forward with what I believe will be an indictment over the obstruction of the January 6th proceeding involving Vice President Pence and um, quite likely uh, um, defrauding the United States charge as well. Mm -hmm. I, I do think that will have political consequences for him. It'll freeze his donors. Um, you know, so there, there are many passionate supporters out there right. um, and many people that are, are willing to ride with him for a while. But, you know, at that point, hmm. you know, there's he, he'll be asking for so much money that there'll be a lot of checks and balances on the donor side that I think will you know, halt uh, his ability to raise funds. 
All right. Well, Ty Cobb, thank you very much. And that's interesting, as you point out, right, that the, the political implications of this uh, could come from that, that as opposed to uh, this Stormy Daniels, obviously very likely indictment at this point. Hey. All right. Thank you so much.